Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share three simple techniques that you can use in order to calculate percentages faster in your competitive exam. See, even if you get a calculator in your exam, I would personally recommend you to practice these and be able to calculate percentages on your own because one, it's going to save you time. And second, it's going to help you with both sections, quants as well as reasoning. So let's get started with this video. The most important thing when it comes to percentages chapter is to be able to revise these percentages on a regular basis. So I used to revise these over my weekends also while I was traveling to the coaching center. The first method is called the approximate approximation method and here you can use the options in order to arrive at the right answer and this can only be used when the options are not very close to each other. For example, if the question was 167 divided by 723 is how much percentage, you can arrive at the right answer by rounding off the numerator and denominator which makes it 170 by 720. Now you calculate 50% of 720 which is 360 then 50% of 360 which is 180 so you know 25% of 720 is 180 which is very close to 170 so your answer has to be slightly lesser than 25 percent which can easily help you mark b as the right answer the second method makes use of multiples of certain percentages in order to arrive at the right answer for example 10 percent of any number is very easy to calculate you only need to move the decimal point towards the left so if i was to calculate 24 percent of 52.5 the way i would do it is 10 percent into 2 plus 2% into 2, which makes it 10% as 5.25, multiply it by 2, you get 10.5. And then if you want 4 more percentages, you calculate 2%, which is 1.05, multiplied by 2, you get 2.1, so 10.5 plus 2.1 is 12.6. The final method is pretty basic. It just says that x% percent of y is equal to y% percent of x. So if I was to ask you, what is 24.12% of 25? You only have to reverse the situation and think what is 25% of 24.12, which is one fourth of this number, which is 6.03. So you can easily arrive at this answer, which you may not have been able to if you were to calculate 24.12% of 25. So these are the three methods that I wanted to tell you about percentages. I have also created a worksheet, which I've attached in the description box for your reference. You can use this worksheet to practice these techniques and get better at using them on a regular basis. If you like these kinds of videos or you would want more of these for quantitative aptitude or DILR sections so that I can share shortcuts with examples do let me know your feedback in the comment section thanks a lot for watching it